Russia attacked Elon Musk's Starlink with secret technology before advance on Kharkiv. Russia is increasingly obstructing Ukraine's Starlink service, using advanced technology to interfere with Elon Musk's satellite internet service. This led to new disruptions on the northern front line. According to the New York Times, ahead of Russia's advance into the Kharkov region, soldiers of the 92nd Air Assault Brigade lost a vital resource. The Starlink satellite internet service that soldiers use to communicate, gather intelligence and conduct drone attacks was extremely slow. According to the publication, the failures are based on increased interference from Russia. Before the attack on the Kharkiv region, the Russians used powerful electronic weapons and more sophisticated tools to degrade the quality of Starlink service. These achievements pose a serious threat to Ukraine. These actions caused massive disruptions to Starlink. If Russians continue to succeed, it could mark a tactical shift in the conflict, highlighting Ukraine's vulnerability and dependence on the services provided by Elon Musk's company. Because the US and other governments are cooperating with SpaceX and the failures raise broader questions about Starlink's reliability against a technologically sophisticated adversary. Ukraine's Minister of Digital Technologies, Mikhail Fedorov, said that Russia's recent attacks on Starlink were aimed at using new and more advanced technologies. Previously, the service withstood interference extremely well, in particular the influence of electronic warfare. But the Russians are now testing various mechanisms to disrupt the quality of Starlink connections because this is very important to us, Fedorov said. According to him, Ukraine constantly communicated with SpaceX to solve problems. An official leading Russia's electronic warfare efforts told state media last month that the military had put Starlink on a target list and had developed capabilities to counter the service. Kari Bingen, a former Pentagon official and electronic warfare expert, said Starlink and other satellite communications could be disrupted by the use of high-power radio frequencies to overload connections. According to her, stealth attacks are usually carried out from a vehicle with a large radio tower. Explanations for Starlink failures in Ukraine over the past year vary. Several experts said Russia had become better at interfering with the signal between satellites and Starlink ground terminals with powerful and precise jamming. Others suggested that the service was disrupted by special electronic weapons mounted on drones that could confuse Starlink's GPS signals. A sharp increase in Starlink usage could also degrade service. In some cases, technical restrictions aimed at preventing Russian troops from using Starlink have harmed the Ukrainian military service on the front lines. At other times, outages can be more random, such as earlier this month when SpaceX reported service problems worldwide due to solar storms. Starlink has given Musk enormous influence in the war as he controls where satellite services are available and can decide to cut off access. In some cases, Ukrainian officials have approached Musk directly to enable access to Starlink during military operations so they can carry out strikes, drones, through enemy lines. Requests that the billionaire did not always approve of. The US government, which purchased Starlink terminals for Ukraine, was sometimes drawn into negotiations, the publication writes. Five people were killed and scores injured as strong tornadoes hit Greenfield in Iowa, US on Tuesday. The Tarando in the small town of 2000 destroyed homes and businesses. Cars were crumpled. Iowa Department of Public Safety reported on Wednesday that at least 35 people were injured as a result of the tornadoes but the number of those hurt is believed to be higher. Located 90 kilometers southwest of Des Moines, much of Greenfield was destroyed. The fifth victim in the tornadoes has been identified as a 46-year-old woman whose car was blown off the road in Adams County, about 40 kilometers from Greenfield. The names and ages of the other dead in Greenfield are not being released yet, the police said. Video footage showing the devastation across Iowa depicted flattened buildings, overturned cars and broken wind turbines. One of the residents described the experience of seeing the ceiling in her home fall through. We were hollering, screaming, she said in an interview with Reuters. Illinois, Nebraska and Wisconsin were also hit by tornadoes, heavy rain and power cuts. The National Weather Service said it received 23 tornado reports Tuesday, with most in Iowa, and one each in Wisconsin and Minnesota. Tornado in Wisconsin prompted Green Bay office to dispatch a staffer Wednesday morning to survey storm damage near the village of Unity in western Marathon County, 